Welcome back to What Sold in the Hat House. Today we've got some repeat buyers and some combined orders. The next 30 days, I really want to focus on my repeat buyers because right now I'm down about 15% against 30 days ago on my repeat buyers. And I really think that this could help get my sales back up to a higher level uh, instead of kind of cruising around the 500 mark where I've been. I really want that to be around seven or $800 a day. And I think the repeat buyers is really where I can make some ground and make things better. So stay tuned. On the other side, we'll have my three-step plan of how to put this into action. And then also the hats that are going out today. You'll want to catch these. All right, guys, my first course of action is going to be after the sale message. This message is just a simple message that I'm going to say, hey, did you know that I carry 2,000 hats in my store? Maybe you'll find another one, and I'd love to combine shipping at a low cost. There's some easier ways to do this. If you have a few sales every day, you can just copy and paste a message and send it to every person that buys something from you. Or you can use 3D Seller. Uh, it is kind of expensive. Uh, but it will automatically send out a message for you after every sale. Those are two ways to go about doing it. Both I have found really beneficial in the past. I think I just need to rework my message and it could be a little bit better. The second action I'm going to take is to send coupons to the buyers every single day. I'm going to send them out, um, give them a good deal, 20 to 30% off to make sure that they know that they can come back to my store and they can get a deal. And the third action I'm going to take is I'm going to send out a newsletter every single day. My favorite one to send out is about the sales that you have going on in your store. You can send this out, let them know, hey, I have a 30, 40, 50% off sale right now. If you hurry, you can come take a part of it and grab some great deals. As you can see, over the past 90 days, I've driven about $750 in extra sales just by sending out this newsletter. I just think that I can be a little bit more consistent with it over the next 30 days. All right, guys, now that we have the plan, let's go pack some hats and see what sold today. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Hat House. I'm Steven. I'm Mary. We really appreciate everybody stopping by. In today's video, you're going to see a big bulk order. I say big, it's five hats, but it was still $100, which is a great sale for us. Uh, we also had a bulk order on the clothing side, too. So I'm going to dig into a little bit more of that in this episode and kind of go through our repeat buyers and how important they are to us. If you'll notice when I'm going through the sales, you'll see repeat buyer at the bottom. So even if you look at the old videos, I really appreciate my repeat customers and they really come through for us. So let's check out the hats we got. All right, guys, let's get to packing some hats. First up was a uh, Superman dad hat. The Superman label too. Next up was our bulk order, which is really cool. We really appreciate our repeat buyers, like we said. I'm a Pepper, Dr. Pepper hat. All these are vintage except for one, I think. We had a vintage Smith & Wesson hat. And then this Cheers Boston vintage. Uh, it still had the tag on it. It was really cool. Really good condition. The one you want to look out for on the Cheers hat that can go for like a hundred dollars is the, I think it's the game. It's got the big Cheers logo. It's black. Uh, it's like a hundred dollar hat. But this one's still really cool. Then we had a Pepsi patch trucker snapback. Nice hat. And then a Sub Pop, which was new to me. I'd never seen this brand before. Or this logo. So really nice order. About hundred dollars for for these hats. Next up was an Oregon State Beavers Zephyr fitted hat, seven and three eighths. Next up was an Atlanta Braves fitted hat. It's a size seven and a quarter, probably mid two thousands. Next up was a St. Louis Blues snapback mesh by Fanatics. Next up was a Columbia. Five panel. Yeah, this one's vintage. 
made in Taiwan. Really good shape for the being about 20 years old. Next up was a Sitgo Racing. Kind of had the shark tooth bill. Next up was uh, Space Dust. It did take me a minute to track down what Space Dust was. It is a brewery where Space Dust is the beer that the brewery makes. So it was kind of a different hat. Uh, I think this one went for around 20 bucks. Uh, so if you can find something unique like that, uh, it can bring a little bit more. Next up was a cool looking hat. A Los Angeles Raiders script, but uh, it was just made by NFL Vintage Collection. So, not your uh, sports specialties version, so that's why I didn't go for much. Next up was uh, Denver Broncos, AFC Champions, 1997. Is uh, Russell Wilson going to lead them back to the promised land? This one was sports specialties, but just not a very high demand sports specialties style or brand. Next up, Clemson Tigers. This was PlayStation Fiesta Bowl Champions 2019. Basically like new. Next up was a uh, Patagonia. A brownish, reddish color from the Bison. Really clean, good condition. Next up was a uh, Washington this one was in our unboxing video. If you haven't checked those out, you might check out our unboxing videos. They're really cool. This is a vintage Washington patch hat. Kind of a bluish purple color. There's a tag. It was kind of faded. Next up was our Chevy hat. This one was a full foam. This was probably late 70s, early 80s maybe. Next up was a vintage Hawaii trucker hat. It said, suck them up, Hawaii. A little bit, looks like maybe, is that a beer? Or some sort of drink? I don't know. If you know what that was, let me know. Next up was a Cabela's camo. This one was flex fitted. Really clean. Then we had a Ranger Boats fishing hat. This one was by The Game, so it was a little bit better brand. That's why it went for a little more than uh, you can typically get for one of these types of hats. It was really well made. Now we had a Mickey hat. Strap back Mickey hat with cool straps on the side. Then we had a Kappa hat. This was sold on Poshmark, I believe, for about $15. Just a regular strap back. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can stay informed on all the hats that are going out in the hat house. See you guys soon.